welcome back to my channel. I'm Macy, and if you're new here, I make videos on my cozy daily life, my tech and desk setups, and I also share my designing and coding journeys. So today's video is going to be a blend of all three topics. I just really enjoy sharing my life with you guys and documenting the little things that make my day special. I opened the windows today because spring is finally here and it just feels so nice to have the fresh air in my space. So definitely open up the window sometimes to let the air in. It definitely improves my mood. So this is day one of me starting my brand new project, which is the revamp of my personal website. Whenever I start a new project, I always begin with mood boarding. If you don't know what mood boarding is, it's when I'm able to finally get my ideas, which are abstract concepts in my brain, down on paper. And it really helps me visualize and execute what I had in mind. So whenever I mood board, the first things that I do is I grab my favorite pen and notebook and start writing down anything that I can think of. I always like to write with a ruler, maybe because I definitely have so many thoughts jumbled in my brain. So maybe being more structured on paper actually helps me structure my thoughts better and it makes it a lot easier for me to start bringing my ideas to life this way. I then write my objectives for the project, things that I want to get out of my website and what are the goals that I have for it. And then I do some light wireframing where I basically sketch out how I want the website to look, what information I want to present on the website, and what is the feel and mood that I want to convey with my website design. So for this design in particular, I'm actually deeply inspired by iOS. I've really been enjoying using my iPad lately. I think the design of iPad OS is so intuitive and natural and so many of us are interacting with our devices every day. So I thought it would be really interesting and fun to make my website design inspired by iPad OS. After mood boarding, I start to wireframe on Figma. And one of the first things that I do is actually plan out the spacing of my website. The way that I always start this off is by dividing my website into different columns. I like to work with a 12 column system, so then I start to mark which columns will be blank white space and which columns will actually have content. So planning out my design ahead of time with this column and row system makes it so much easier because I know from the beginning that I'm creating a smart design, so it actually makes it a lot easier to code later down the line. So after the grid system is in place, I then start to get a feel for the design. So right now I'm actually pulling in some image assets so that I can get a feel for how I want my design to go. So later in the day, I actually started to play around with a really awesome 3D modeling tool, which is Spline. Spline is actually the sponsor of today's video, and I'm actually so excited to share Spline with you guys. Spline is an app where you can design and collaborate on 3D models. And what makes it so amazing is that there's real-time collaboration, 3D modeling, animation, 3D sculpting, and so much more. It's basically Figma for 3D modeling. And my favorite feature that I'm so excited to use is React Export. So you can actually quickly integrate your 3D models into your React projects. You just need to drop the spline component into your code and your model will already be there. So yeah, I spent the rest of my day playing around with Spline for the first time, and I actually started off by trying to design the plant emoji on Spline. I actually realized that I don't really like to learn new tools that way. The way I like to learn is to look at examples. I definitely learn by example, and I enjoy seeing how it was created in the first place, and I like to tweak already pre-made things so that I can learn a tool better. It just seems much more easier for me and less daunting rather than following a brand new tutorial and starting from scratch. It's just a personal preference, but that is how I learn, and it's definitely how I began learning how to code too. So instead of designing the plant pot emoji, I then took a look at Spline's library, where they already have these pre-made 
made 3D models and I noticed that they actually had a 3D model of a room and it had a desk set up. So I actually started manipulating this file and I had an idea to actually 3D model my desk setup. I actually had a follower who 3D modeled my desk setup before and she submitted it as an entry for a 3D modeling competition and I heard that she was a finalist. So if you're watching this video, you actually gave me inspiration to do this myself with Spline, so thank you. I'll leave her 3D model entry in the description below if you'd like to check her out. It's been a while since I've made something for my own enjoyment and just for learning and I think that is so important because I feel like a lot of the times we're trying to be so productive for this hustle life and hustle culture that we actually lose sight of what we actually love to do and our passions. So working on projects for yourself is something I highly recommend and it's definitely something I want to be able to do more too. So yeah, after spending a little bit of the night 3D modeling for the first time with Spline, I am pretty happy with the result. I was able to recreate my wall shelves, my gantry light, and I was able to learn how to rotate items. And that's where I left it off on day one. I just made a dirty iced matcha, so it's kind of like a matcha and espresso fusion. One of you guys actually commented in my last video to try this out because it's something that you drink in the mornings. It kind of just tastes like espresso with matcha aftertaste. Kind of hard to describe. But yeah, I think I'm gonna be really caffeinated after drinking this. So, so now I'm just going to finish up my 3D model of my desk setup with spline, and then I'm gonna try to embed it in Figma. And I think I'm gonna wrap it there and then code it in the next vlog. And I'm just really excited to see how it turns out. All right, so let's get started. So I just finished 3D modeling my desk setup in Spline and now I'm going to move forward with embedding it into my Figma and I think it's going to be really cool. So 
So I just finished designing my wireframe and I'm actually really excited with how it turned out. I always wanted to learn 3D modeling, so using Spline was really fun to bring my vision to life. And I also think it's a really fun way for my audience or different users who happen to stumble upon my page to just explore the things that I really like and they can also shop my digital shop or my setup links. So here is what the design looks like so far. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Leave a like and comment down below what you think of Spline and my design. Also, let me know if you're gonna try out Spline for your own projects. It's a super cool tool and I honestly can't wait to embed it into my React code when I start coding out my new website. And of course, I'll be sharing that in my next YouTube video. So make sure you subscribe to stay tuned for the part two of this video. As always, thank you so much for joining me. Stay cozy and I'll see you in the next one.